this character? Kelsey. Oh. There are not five of us. There are five of you. No one's missing. Well, um, Skellen just disconnected, so he needs to uh, re re pick his character. And we'll say for now that uh, Adam Wally is tagging along, um, just in case Alice can make it next week. So off to one side, there's a very learned looking um, local who appears to be mumbling something to Mo, who will be listening to him about the Mastabas and the rock cut tombs of the fifth and sixth dynasties over there. And um, it's with that that um, you've decided, as I said, to break away from the group, so to speak. So as I said, you're about uh, 200 meters down the causeway away from the Great Sphinx of Giza. Um, the weather's a little weird. Um, it's a little overcast, despite the fact that the weather reports this morning said it was going to be clear and sunny. And there's that, the fact that the clouds to the east have started to roil. Um, and it, it, it's almost that the light level drops as the cloud cover seems to intensify significantly more than it has been up until now. The wind picks up a little more. And you hear a crack of thunder and look up on the other side of the Pyramid of Caffrey to the east of you. You see the strange looking storm developing further suddenly. They're the only clouds in the sky. Others in your group mutter at the strange sight as the storm cloud grows. As I said, it's the wrong time of year for thunderstorms to happen and it's supposed to be clear and hot for days. The crowd and yourselves gasp as you witness the impossible. A wide, twisting sandstone column drops down from the spreading storm cloud like a vortex. It tilts and arches downwards, smashing into the visitor center, knocking it flat. You see a flash from the point of impact. Feel the shockwave like a thunderclap and smell an odd odour like ozone. You grow dizzy for a moment and then all around you, things begin to shift. The ruins shimmer and change. The nearby walls of the southern cemetery are now adorned with billowing tapestries covering fresh inscriptions and hieroglyphics. The stone is no longer crumbling and the intact structures of the necropolis form a thick maze of buildings, some gleaming with gold plating. The pyramids, just moments ago looking like ancient structures, are now completely smooth, painted white and capped with gold. The whole world seems to shake with a rhythmic pounding like the fall of a million marching feet stepping in time. Now, at this moment, a number of things happen. Firstly, the Nile Empire world, well, there, the Nile Empire world laws are now in effect. For those of you that missed the beginning, just read those. The law of drama just keeps things up, dialed up to 11. The law of action, the law of heroism, each have an actual in-game effect. So card-wise, everyone has four cards currently? Yeah. Check. Right. Well, the first thing that happens is you are all just suddenly filled. Oh, Toby Jones. Love the picture, Kerry. Um, you're all suddenly filled with uh, just a general sense of adventure. Um, and... The kid gets. Can you see the cards when I'm dialing them, or do I, are they not showing up? All cards are showing up. Right, that will be because I need to put the option for show GM rolls needs to be on. Right, um, attuned thirty-five goes to the kid. I'll move that one over. Well done, see it. Kelsey, did you That's see that one? Night. Yep. Kelsey gets a glory card. 
Lion Camille gets a Romance card. Java gets a Willpower card. And Heidi gets a Second Wind card. And that's because the law of heroism dictates that your hand sizes increase by one. Oot. And you also get your Cosm cards. Remember, these are mm. out of character. It's not your character necessarily, depending on the card that does this. But it's your ability to exercise your player agency. So the kid gets the Cosm card of Triumphant Boast. Appropriate for the player. Apart from when it impacts the villain. Kelsey gets the Law of Action. Lion Camille gets Parting Shot. Java gets Round Two. And Heidi gets Temporary Reprieve. And much better now. They link into the uh, chat window. That's cool. Oh, do they? The images are working there. Yeah, oh, yeah. excellent. I did it right. I did it right. Don't know why it wasn't working before. I don't. It still doesn't work from your. Um, still doesn't work from your character, but it no. works from the chat window. Mm, that's cool. But that's not all that happens. Um, while you're watching, you're seeing the transformations around you. Some of the people around you begin to transform as well. A number of you watch as Mo, while holding his mother's hand, his clothes begin to change. His trousers begin to shorten and to, to shorts. He's got a blazer and a tie. Um, his gamepad, which was the latest Nintendo Switch, just transforms in his hand, becoming a slingshot. His mother watches this happen and begins to scream in panic. He still looks like Mo, but an earlier version of Mo, shall we? Um, Ms. Caramel, Jesse, swoons demurely as the shockwave overcomes everybody else. And literally, as she falls to the floor, her quite modern hipster-like outfit transforms into a tight-fitting, slinky evening dress. Her hairstyle changes to a curled coiffure of a golden-aged movie starlet. And she's just lying on the floor, looking quite um, forlorn. What are you doing in reaction to these things? Um, does anyone know first aid? Uh, I, I'm trying to see if I know first aid. Um, fine. That would be... It's going to be all right, everyone. We just need to head in that direction. Which direction are you pointing? Away from whatever just came down out of the sky. Okay, as you point your hand in that direction, are you looking in the direction you're pointing? Yep. Um, well, that's good, because uh, the first thing you see as you point in that direction towards some open ground and some rocks and desert um, is something about two meters long, quite serpentine, um, is slithering towards you. Um, and as you look, it rears back and it's the hood out its head opens and um, the snake hisses aggressively towards you. Um, you um, notice as well that Halil is closest to the serpent. Who is, sorry? Halil, the uh, Saudi Halil. Arabian student who's with you. Friend of Java, apparently. Ooh. Okay, so an extra. Oh, pff, are they wearing red by any chance? No, not at all. Oh. Uh, um, uh, right. Um, I think we need to go this way. Sorry, quick. Um, come on, quick. Hal Halil, was it? That, that, that's this way. He's look. He looks looks towards you. Looks towards the snake. Panics. Um, takes three steps in your direction, and stumbles and falls backwards onto the ground. Reach for him. Keep, um, he's, let's pick him up. He's a good way away from you. You'd have to move towards him, and that does, of course, mean moving toward the snake. Um, 
Keep okay. calm, no, everybody. No. Keep calm. Um, we calm, must get the, get the get the civilians to um, you, you tourists. We need to protect you, and I'll look uh, somewhere to protect the tourists too. Can, can I? You're in a little bit of open ground at the moment. You could head towards the necropolis, which is completely unfamiliar to you now, as it appears to be um, new. It's like it was built yesterday. Um, again, the, the familiar routes that you'd be used to are now marble-paved walkways rather than the dust-strewn um, tourist-trod routes that they were before. The, necro um, the necropolis. That sounds really safe. That does right. Everyone, come on, everyone. Let's head to the necropolis. It'll uh, it'll be safe in that. Gaz, what were you doing with God Khalil? Um. Oh, okay. Is there a nerve roll I can do to see if I hold my nerve? You can do if you want. Roll spirit. Uh, DC ten. Probably not. Yeah. I think um, uh, I, I think I know a, a, a hidden way in. Look, look, follow me, quick, uh, Camille, quick. You want to get up? No, oh, whatever his name is. Sorry, not Camille. Khalil. Khalil. But Halil. Sorry, Halil. Halil. Khalil's the character that hasn't been chosen yet. I won't. I won't go towards him. But I'll say, um, quick, you need to come. Is anyone else doing anything? As as the kid is addressing Halil, he, he's looking panicked and he's still on his back. He, he's trying to backpedal away, but the snake is getting uh, much closer. And he's longer than he is. This is a two meter long Egyptian cobra. Um, uh, Java, give me a quick science roll. Ah, uh, science. Why science? Because it's about knowing scientific things. Okay. What's can scholar? That yeah, anybody. Oh, scholar can do it as well. Scholar or science. Yeah, because I was, I was wondering what the difference what scholar was, because I don't know what scholar is. Scholar's about knowing stuff that isn't necessarily scientific, like history and the like. Um, oh, look at that. You've both got 19s. Right, what's I go for um, Scholar's my highest. Six. Nineteen. Cool. Dollar nineteen. And Heidi, what did she get? Uh wait, science is three, that's fourteen plus um that's twenty. Okay. Or well, you both are pretty certain that that is um cobras of that size aren't necessarily well you aren't aware of them growing up to that size especially not this close to the city um, perhaps in the deep dunes or down a lot nearer to the river um, but that thing is out and it looks aggressive you know when uh, you said all these things around had uh, banners and stuff is there any writing on them because i've got language coptic you do have language coptic and it's a bit far away but you can see there is hieroglyphic on them um in the few seconds you've had to look at them they appear to be the word such words as glory um and empire um there appears to be an unfamiliar symbol amongst them which isn't a coptic symbol but you know it's the sign for infinity um and that is placed within a cartouche, which would imply rulership. Um, literally, you're looking at the Coptic word for pharaoh, followed by what looks like an infinity symbol. And this is showing up on a lot of the banners that have appeared everywhere. Um, the snake just took pharaoh a strike forever. at Hal Halil. That's one pharaoh forever. Could be, yeah. Pharaoh live forever. That's one potential translation. If you could get closer to one and examine it, you might be able to get more. But at this distance, that's what you've got. Yeah, the snake literally just took a strike at Halil. Um, he managed to struggle back maybe about a foot as it, the snake's mouth impacted the sand in between his knees. I'll whip out the 38 and shoot it. Okay, uh, go ahead. Make a to shoot roll. That's firearms or something. It is indeed. Firearms. Fire combat, in fact. Uh, was 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 this uh, Jessie lady unconscious? Uh, no, she swooned. Okay, she doesn't appear to have. Uh, she's trying to get to her feet, but she appears to be um, weak and unable to do so, and and looking around with a quite a vapid look in her eyes. 
13. That is more than enough to hit these. Not enough to get a uh, a bonus die, but what damage does your 38 do? The 38, it does... Uh... Doesn't say, sorry. Uh, click on the... Oh, uh, got it. The icon to the right of it, it's got the full stats within there. Damage 12. Damage 12, that's at least a wound. Um, you take a bead and you fire at the cobra. You hit the creature in the body, bullet goes straight through. It rears up, um, it's hood flaring again, and then it slinks backwards, leaving a... You know how the snakes move when they slither? It's literally leaving a spotted blood trail. And... You're overcome with your sense of duty, for want of a better word, um, Khalil. Uh, hang on a second. Um, I haven't handed out all of these. I'm protecting uh, the tourists. I didn't do Kelsey. I didn't give Kelsey his basic board character sheet. Sorry about that, Kerry. However, Lion Camille, you go through a... Uh, a moment of crisis suddenly feeling that your <laughs> cool. your reason for existence is clarified for want of a better term um you gain stubble the reality uh, skill at two ads can, can i have some stubble now if you want yeah. if you want to just spontaneously the stubble kicks in and shades it's just that point where you've gone from <laughs> It doesn't look good, and then you can pull a pair of shades out of your pocket if you want and put them on. Yeah, and my jaw, my jaw line looks a bit square or suddenly. Yeah. Um, you're still Core Earth. Um, just double checking your fire combat. Yeah, I think the only skill that you get is reality skill at two. Um, but you also gain the relentless perk and the vengeful perk. If you want to fill those in. Remember, relentless, that's one of the things that um, Lena had three shock for an extra um, bonus die on an all-out attack and vengeful is essentially if you're wounded you gain an automatic up which is roll the dice again versus that attacker cool yeah i remember i got tired really quickly but it was fun with relentless double check melee weapons it should be two which it is Unarmed combat should be two, which it is. Intimidation should be one, which it is. Dodge should be two, which it is. Evidence analysis, one. Find one. Yep, you get the reality skill at two. Yay. You should already have it. You just need to fill the, the, the ads in. So, yeah, it, Camille, in response to that, he seems to be holding himself with more confidence as he takes out the snake. Um, you drag Halil to his feet, and then you point in the direction and go, we're going this way, as you... Stop pulling people together and you're heading towards the necropolis. As you're moving behind you, and it, I mean, it's dominating a majority of the sky because this thing came out of the sky to the west of the Pyramid of Khafre, but it's landed on the ground to the east. So you imagine it's dominating. And you, you can see as you look up at this strange twisted sandstone column that's twisted like a braid, you're seeing figures like some bizarre living um emshi isha painting you can see troops marching down the length of this sandstone impossible structure but as well as that as the sounds growing louder from the clouds at its head you can start to see um planes um java you're the military expert Give me a scholar check, please. Eleven. Okay. Um, you look and you see a number of these. They look like uh, World War I planes, um, possibly a little later, but you're not recognizing any of the markings on them. Um, you'd say it's probably, yeah, it's definitely, it's a single engine prop fighter. Um, as it gets closer, you think, oh, maybe, maybe it's equivalent to World War II, single engine prop fighter. Um, nowhere near advanced as the Spitfire, but in the early years of the war. Um, 
They have ank markings on their side and wings. Like I said, you don't recognize it. And, and oh, that one there, that one there's got a, a, a crocodile's jaws painted on it. Yeah. How, oh, that was a, that, that's a lot closer than the others. And you suddenly realize that the group is splitting up and one of them with the crocodile motif on the side um, is zooming down towards your group's position. And you all have a moment when your hearts leap into your throat as I don't think any of you have been strafed before. Um, but about 30 feet ahead of you, bullets start to hit the sand. Yeah, the kid might have been strafed before. Eat the dirt, folks. Um, anybody hitting the dirt needs to give me a dodge check, please. Is strafing nine of you, so there's strength in numbers here. Now, the defense is we don't add anything to those, do we? They're just no, but it's active, so you get a minimum bonus number of one. It's essentially your, your dodge value with a bonus number added yeah. to it. Uh, so, if we get a minus, it doesn't matter. Nope, okay, it's a minimum of a one. We don't get menaces? Not on an active defense, no. Cool. Yours so is a little higher then, I'm assuming. You just roll the dice and yep. it's essentially similar to rolling a possibility, but it's just you don't, there's a minimum bonus number you can get of one. So if you roll a nine, it's a bonus number of one. If you roll a 17, it's a bonus so number I've of four. So I two, I get a bonus number of one. Yeah, because you, you can't make it worse cool. by actively dodging. Um, you could yeah, still impose what's... a mishap if you get a one. Am I adding it to dodge? Yes. Right, 11 then. Okay, so... I can Heidi have two? So I think sure, the 15 yeah. gave him a bonus number of two on her dodge. Oh. She just added that to the dodge. Oh yeah, right, so it's 12, yeah. Cool. Um, well, he rolled a five, which gives him a bonus number of four. He's getting various bonuses, plus four for rapid fire. It's dual weapon mount, giving him a plus one. Um, his heavy weapon skill is eight, but it's at minus two for range. And because he's strafing the group, he's at an additional minus eight for the lot of you. So the bullet trail goes through your group. Um, and as the smoke clears, you look around to each other and you say, yeah, okay, we're okay, we're okay. Um, but you soon hear or look and you can see the, the, the fighter pilot bringing his playing around for another strafe and that galvanizes you to start running um, this way i know a short quote quick and i'll head down a little could, I, could i use some sort of skill check to figure out like if it has a, a, a weak point or something yeah you can attempt yeah because essentially that would be doing a a trick or some interaction tack to give it the vulnerability yeah okay right uh, I'll plus you know about planes yeah in fact, you, the thing you saw up close, while that thing has designs reminiscent of World War II aircraft, Heidi, that is not a World War II aircraft. Yeah. You see distinctive bits in the fuselage. That is not a design that was used during the 40s. It's not a design you recognize at all. So uh, if that was a trick, that puts me at 13, uh, 14. 14, uh, that's enough to give you a good success. So that's more than five over his trick. So you can choose to make him very vulnerable or very stymied. What do you want to do? Um, I'm thinking stymied because we're not going to be able to take him down right now. You're going to make it harder for him to do something. Yeah. So Heidi yells out something like, um, stay within its 11 o'clock quarter. Um, I can see it's got a, and you essentially go, there's a problem with his guns. And you makes you make sure that everybody's in a particular not an entire blind spot but you know he's going to have more difficulty aiming if you're at this angle to the plane yeah, something like that. so are you still heading towards the southern cemetery or did the kid reroute you somewhere else i was gonna find like i, I know a back entrance into the cemetery sure a bit difficult because it was only just appeared but that's good yeah but I know, I know quick exits, uh, you, you uh, do, quick you escapes, do. you know. Okay, with that in mind then, Heidi's little epiphany, you're, lo you're watching that plane, and as you're 
yelling out to people that model's got this problem it, you, but hang on i don't know anything about that model and for it to have that weakness in that area that doesn't make any sense that's not how science of course that's how science works what are you talking about heidi you know exactly the rest of you watching heidi have this little internal epiphany see her change in front of your eyes um she's still heidi she's still the middle-aged um german lady that you've been having chats with you don't have to rock the shades if you don't want to badger um but she didn't have that weird gun on her hip before mm -hmm. um she certainly um didn't I mean, halfway through, she starts talking with a more confident demeanor, and it's it's strange. It... Heidi, you have now transformed to the Nile Empire. You can update your character sheet accordingly. Ooh. Your perks are, just for everyone else's benefit, Electro Ray, which is a gadget which you cannot use in melee, but does damage 15 effectively you've now got a electro gun right. and it's just your brain is alive in a way it wasn't before just in the last seconds just that tiny exposure to what you were looking at there has resulted in you just having a, a different understanding and the way things work physics maybe have misunderstood it um yeah no that that could be right that might be wrong that could be right you've gained the energy weapon skill at two adds and your mind stat goes up to 12. okay from 11. what is that is that permanent yep it's a super attribute all right it's one of your perks it's the only super attribute you can only ever have one you could upgrade it to give more adds i think it can go up to a plus two but uh, bear in mind that your electro ray can be targeted and it can be taken away from you which is why it's doing damage 15 rather than damage 30. The kid, as you suddenly step up and decide, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help these people need help. I know where we can go. You have a, an equally existential crisis, um, not one that sees you changing um, in any way, shape or form, but you are more confident in your own abilities than you have ever been before um you gain the reality skill at two ads i didn't mention your reality skill but you have got it on the sheet badger if you just go through it yeah. um you gain the prodigy perk oh by the way uh lion camille you get three possibilities um heidi you get three possibilities the kid you get four possibilities Yay. And you also gain the grant possibilities perk. Uh, Double check your skill so, ads just to make sure you've got all the correct ones. So you said three possibilities for me. Yep, you get three. Cool. And and the kid darts off towards the uh the southern necropolis, um hoping that people are following him. The plane flies overhead strafing the ground clearly missing where you would have been if you hadn't all been moved but as it flies overhead its engine noise fills your ears with this deep loud thrum 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 but as it passes away you realize it's not the noise of the plane you're hearing now literally as they're getting toward the bottom of the um sandstone structure the pounding of the marching troops is increasing in intensity. This sounds literally like millions of marching feet stamping in unison. And it is making the ground under your feet begin to shake. Oh. And across the plateau, as you look, you can see some buildings um, crumbling and falling. Um, you all managed to get into the southern cemetery to take cover and um, one after the other of you mo his mum jesse a thankful halil um, you all managed to get into the relative safety of there's now walls around you you're now within the um the southern cemeteries itself but it is indeed 
you can still feel the sound. It's still shaking. And you notice as the remainder of you group run in, a couple of you, you've split up a little bit. You can see over graves and what have you, that the sarcophagi that are here to see where people are. Um, everybody roll me a d6. Just one d6. I've thought of a number. Seven. No, it's a number from one to six, but I just need you all to roll the dice. Waiting on Kelsey and Heidi. Oh, I thought I rolled one. Uh... Oh, no, you had. I'm not waiting for Heidi. I'm waiting for... Who was I waiting for? Oh, no, you rolled a d20 to get a 14. You're supposed to roll a d6. Okay, Java and Kelsey. Um, you happen to be in approximately the same place. And you both watch as during a particularly violent thrum, thrum a large chunk of um, a nearby funerary building, a great slab, begins to slowly break loose from the rest of the building it's connected to. And it's up to you what you do, but your eyes move faster than the slowly falling slab to see Ms. Jessie Caramel um, brushing off her evening gown directly in the way of the five meter wide 10 meter tall slab of sandstone what are you doing head down charge towards it to sort of uh, it was it. only Kel Garver oh, and Kelsey the only no. two that have had a chance uh -huh. to respond oh, go on then scream out yep. here and say move away from that big big rock coming down towards you so you're just yelling okay Kelsey well Kelsey will uh, scream look out and then rush towards her and uh, sort of Correctly okay. push her out Give of the way. Give me a dexterity check, please. Good roll. Dex only, so you're not rolling. Unless you've got, have you got the, I know there isn't an athletic skill that we're talking about. So just a 20. Just a 20. The, the otherwise um, unassuming Mr. Kavanagh, uh, at the same time as Java, yells, look out. But something is galvanized inside him. And he runs. As he runs, those of you that are watching have to blink a couple of times. Because halfway through, it's like he wasn't there anymore. But then you see that he dives towards uh, Miss Caramel and they both roll out and stand as the slab slam down. Um, but they're both safe. So, Kelsey, now you'll see in a minute, Kerry, why I said this is a sort of, sort of like sometimes playing to theme for you. Um, your perks are super attribute for dexterity, so your dex goes up by one, and super skill, stealth, which has given you two additional ads in stealth. And do you want to tell everyone what your stealth skill is at? Uh, 17. <laughs> wow. So your axioms and everything else change because you transcended gathering that moment of crisis to the Nile Empire reality. So you're, you're filled with a new sense of purpose, but it's sort of manifested. It, it's catalyzed your general every man-ness people have a want to overlook you and now there is a a reason for that overlookage overlook who so my Come new on. sense purpose is to hide really well pretty much <laughs> uh, <laughs> column after column of troops march down the maelstrom bridge onto the sands of giza these troops are shock troopers. They are bare-chested men, each of them wearing a headdress and kilt styled similarly to ancient Egyptian warriors. However, the weapons they carry look more modern, like World War II submachine guns, and their belts and bandoliers are both replete with bullets. They march heavily in 
perfect time. And every time their sandaled feet stomp the ground, the world around you trembles. Above the throng, a massive zeppelin with the same markings as the fighter planes floats down from the bridge. Behind the foot troops, older looking tanks, again seemingly defying the laws of physics, rumble and clank between the columns of troopers on all sides of the twisted sandstone structure. Most of the emerging army, you're seeing this as you're peeking out from behind your relative safety um, within the, the southern funerary area. Most of the troops appear to head directly eastward, following in the wake of the planes that left you behind. So they're heading into the city. Some take up a defensive position around the pillar's base, and small squads begin to break off from the main group and begin to double time it towards the pyramids, the tombs, and the sphinx. One group is heading directly in your direction towards the southern cemetery. What are you doing? There appear to be about a dozen or so. Down this way, I know a place we can hide. We, we stop them. A dozen of them. Look, we can take a dozen. Where's that Kelsey guy gone? It's only two each. You bad at arithmetic? It's 2.2 2 each. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. But there's only four of us. Yeah, that Kelsey guy's disappeared again. He's just, he, keeps, he keeps hiding. Don't get it. Never tell me the odds. I'm only kid. There's only three of you. Good luck. I've got a thing. I'm going down this way. Mo looks hopefully from around his um, now calmed mother's skirt and holds up his slingshot. Can anybody use this? It Anyone is just that? a slingshot. Anything will do. How far away are they now? Um, they're covering the ground. At the moment, you're hidden. Um, it's your choice to interact with them if you wish to. But as they are running, they are yelling out things in languages some of you don't understand. Um, Java, you speak Coptic. Yep. Um, if you imagine, it's sort of like, remember the Asterix books, whenever they go to Egypt and they talk to him and the little speech bubbles with the ideograms appear. That sort of thing. They're not appearing with the ideograms, but it's the... It's the Rem reminiscent of that as they are speaking um, a language you've never heard spoken um, the the accent of Coptic is unknown it's a dead language um, however these are yelling kneel before the army of Pharaoh Mobius and it suddenly clicks to you what the significance of the infinity sign is and you look up and there's one close to um this close you can see the subtlety of it it isn't just the infinity sign it's a mobius strip the whole idea if you take a a circle uh cut and turn one turn one half of the cut and then reattach it and you get the symbol of infinity the mobius strip the object that has but one three-dimensional object that has but one side to it so I need to know from you guys, um, who's sticking around to fight, who's getting scarce. Of all the NPCs, they are erring on the side of getting scarce. Mo is letting somebody else use his slingshot. He isn't about to use it himself. He is only 10. I think I will go, because I've got, you got skill and stuff, I will go stealthy. Okay. You, you get the, the touch of, yeah, get the tourist to uh, safety, hide them. I'll, I'll hold them off. Good luck. Well, it's a group stealth in this instance. So anybody who is being stealthy needs to make a stealth check. And it is all based on the majority result here. Uh, Kelsey, roll again. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is going to be good. So Kelsey gets a 25. Kid gets whatever six plus his stealth is. Uh, Java gets oh, yeah. Yeah. two off of her stealth. 15. 
presume it's just dex, is it? Stealth. If you haven't got the stealth skill, it's just based off of dex, yeah. Yeah, so that's all right. That's uh, I'm 12. Okay, is Heidi being stealthy or is she stepping up to stand uh, alongside the lion? If, if, oh, uh, I haven't really Who seen. else is doing it? Is, is Camille? No. I'm sorry. Um, the lion is, yeah, Camille is. Yeah, well, I think I'll join in. Okay. That's the spirit. In that case, the rest of you are safely viewing proceedings from a hidden position. Who's got a sling? Uh, it depends on you. The Mo gave it to somebody. I mean, Heidi doesn't need it. Camille doesn't need it. I, I can't use missile weapons. Oh, I suppose you can, but I don't have an add in it. That means you'll be rolling unskilled. Unless anyone has skill in missile weapons. And it Kelsey, is missile, not fire. You've got high dexterity. So you'll be good with missile weapons, won't you? I've got a 38. Kelsey, are you Kelsey? I'm sorry, no. Yeah, Kerry could if you wish to, but I believe that Kelsey's hidden. Hiding quite well. Actually, Kelsey, you could, uh, uh, if you want to, you could elect to have taken the slingshot. Um, um, he seems to have some throwing daggers. Oh, yes, I forgot about those. Yes, you do have those. I'll take it then. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have the sling. Slingshot. Okay, so you're going to get surprise on the shock troopers. So the first thing that happens, I will draw a drama card. You seek an advantage appropriately enough. Um, it's a standard scene. You encounter a surge rather early on. So we'll deal with that first. Uh, the villains don't get a go this round because you've taken them by surprise. But that does mean that before anything else, before you test for a surge, before anything, every single one of you can put a drama, um, a drama card or a destiny card, sorry, into your pool before the combat starts. So evaluate the ones you have and decide which ones you're going to take from your hand to put into your pool. I don't think anyone's got situational awareness. Um, oh, can I play my attune? Sorry, before it's to, I play it to draw a cosm card. You can. Or, or you can I only have one cosm card? No, you can have two. Okay, I'll play the attune then. I can't move my. Um... My cards for some reason. Okay, let me have a go. So, you, which one are you trying to move across? Uh, drama for the seven. You have to click on the little coloured doodah, yeah, not the dice doodah. For some reason, I only. Yeah, it should it be. I just did it. Um, make it's sure because it's a new box. campaign. Make sure you've loaded the modules. Right. Go to the library and load the two modules. Yeah, I've just had to do that. Um, there should only be two available, really. It's talk adventure deck one you need to load. Uh, yeah, that wasn't... I can't move mine either, but I've, I've yeah, just it's got probably a blank the same square. Thing. No, I've loaded. Yeah, it'll be the same thing. Well, wait for it to load, but I've loaded uh, them a while ago. Uh, we might be because I dragged them across when you didn't have it loaded. Which which one are you moving across? Um, I was going to take master plan just in case somebody plays something good. Okay, that's right, so across. Yeah, it also it might be because I dragged it when I didn't have it shared, but we'll sort those out as we go along. Um, and you're playing tram, uh, you're playing your attuned, attuned yeah, yep. before combat. Fine. So just uh, we'll delete that. Stick over there. So you played it, and you get dramatic reveal. <laughs> my cosm cards i'm just going to get the uh, the villains to talk for half an hour that's very appropriate and dramatic for the nile empire um right can everybody make a quick contradiction check please i think none of you are going to do anything other than a one case as the surge of reality energy flows over you Just roll a d20 and don't get a 1. Close. Ooh. Not as close as Camille. Um, and we are waiting on Java. I think directs are wide. Someone want to roll for Java? Yeah. Oh, That's all right. Neither one of those did it. Um, yeah, anybody who has ascended or transcended has three possibilities.
Right, at this moment in time, as the troop of shock troopers is heading in your direction currently, um, you are shooting from hidden, and they are about 50 meters away at this moment in time. Okay, um, if, before anyone shoots, I might want to, to trick them, because I'm quite good at that. Mm -hmm. um, Would involve revealing yourself to do that trick, though, so. But oh, yeah. it. You're not, you weren't really, pardon me, hiding anyway, were you? No, um, but it's, you know, just to make it easy for the others to hit. Mm -hmm. um, so, what are you, um, I don't know, I kind of just, um, just jumping out and sort of striking a pose and starting saying, like, just rambling. Uh, I'm just going to ramble in German about my new fan powers. Sure, make a trip roll. <laughs> they don't speak German. That's appropriately exactly. confusing. <laughs> don't forget to end with Hal Hitler. Oof. <laughs> no, you don't. No. Do that. <laughs> you can end with Klopp. But no. Um, eight. Wait. Um, I'm going to do the drama thing of that one. Okay. So that's a 19 at the moment. Gives you a bonus number of six. 19, 6, 2, trick, which is um, 14, so 20. 20. How many? I'll let you do this after the event. How many were you trying to trick? There are 12, so that would be a minus 10 if you're doing all of them. Yeah, no, let's say I was... Uh... However, I will let you know that that would still beat them. <laughs> do it. Yeah, but it wouldn't do a whole lot, would it? Like you get to stymie them. Trick them all. You can get them vulnerable. You just can't make them very stymied or yeah, very I'd, vulnerable. I'd rather make like some of them very vulnerable then. Okay, give me a number from one to ten. How many are you doing? Um four. Four of them. So that's a minus six. What was your trick total? Remind me again. Twenty. Twenty minus six is fourteen. That's six more than their trick defense, which is an eight. So you six of them are very vulnerable. Yeah. Okay. Who's going after Heidi? The strange German lady just stepped out of cover, started yelling something at them in German. Um, and they just, they just look, elderly German lady, shouldn't she be on our side? I don't know. I don't understand what she's saying. They do stumble a little bit and they appear to a good 50% of their number have just like lost their impetus. The rest of them are charging forward with vigor, but they don't get a go yet. Since Fraulein Vogler has um, yeah, kicked it off for us, I'm going to take a shot. Okay. Now, you're at 38, so it's a single shot. I think you could do short burst. Can I? I think I thought it might. No, it was small. No. It's, no, it's small. But you can still elect to shoot at more than one. You'll just be firing a single bullet at each one. Okay. Yeah. I'll so go how ahead. many are you firing at? Uh, two. Okay, so um, there are 50 meters range. What's the, uh, is that what range increment is that for your 38? Range at 50 mean? meters is going to be long. Okay, so that's a minus four. So minus six overall. But you are, you are plus four because they're... Yeah, but their okay. difficulty to hit is, well, no, they're, did you stymie them or vulnerable them? You stymie uh, them? Vulnerable. Yeah, so that doesn't affect his to hit, it, but it does greatly increase their... Uh, no, it does. What am I talking about? Yeah, ignore me. Because damage is directly related. So, minus six to begin with. A 13 gives you a plus one, so that gives you a minus five. So it's 13. Do you wish to spend a possibility? 13 minus five is going to give me a total of eight. I'm not very happy with this, so I'm going to spend a possibility. Okay, now bear in mind that even if this roll isn't any good, you can elect to spend a second possibility and roll again if you wish. Oh, that's what we like. Well, that gives us a neat 30. Um, Which is a 10 bonus. So the minus 5 of that, you've got a bonus number of 5 onto your skill. Uh, excuse me, 17. I'm quite pleased with this. 17 on their dodge of 8 is one point shy of being a extraordinary success. So oh. you're getting one bonus die of damage. Never mind. The 8 is 8 the target number. Do you need to hit it or get over it? You need to get over it. Ah, so the other one would have missed, actually. Yeah, okay, cool. 
I don't know, equal would have been, so eight would have done fine. So, so they just hit, okay. But you needed one more to get an extra bonus die. So five onto the 38 damage, which was a 12. Gotcha, yep. So, so 17 damage going in at the suckers. The, the 38 brief goes off, and two of the shock troopers go down. Well, that's my two. Yeah, fair shares. Um, who's going after Camille? Kelsey, the kid, Java. Kelsey will go. Um, okay, go for it. He'll, can he stalk forward from his hidden position and throw two daggers? Um, I'm going to say, because you've got super skill stealth, you can move at your full speed and still maintain your stealth. Um, so you're going to be... What's your movement? 12 isn't it because it's 12 meters oh, no, sorry. it should have gone up by one because your decks went up based off of don't forget your defenses need to have gone up as well accordingly oh, yeah. um so you're 38 meters away does the throne knives have ranges on them you're yeah, probably long. 10 20 30 i'm gonna let you do it at 30 that's usually the maximum so you're at minus four to hit but you including the after. two targets uh you're doing two yeah yeah so that's a minus six but uh, they are currently very vulnerable, so the difficulties are down by four anyway, so you're only at a minus two. And you're older ten, which means you get to roll again and add. That's a twenty-seven. That's a bonus number of nine onto your missile. Uh, yeah. Um so twenty-three. Twenty-three. Uh minus the two makes it a twenty-one, unless you already did that. No. But that's more than enough to get a 10 over their dodge that is very good as two um you just instinctively grab where, wherever these knives are from and just in a single motion grab fling and these two silver darts go out um do you want to roll two bonus dice for damage roll again roll the six again and add so you're on seven at the moment that's 10 what's the damage if you thrown darts eight so that's an 18 uh, which again is way over their toughness. These um, silver darts streak out unerringly and hitting with more force than you can see. The, the, the men are taken off their feet and they hit the ground unmoving as another two shock troopers go down. Is the kid doing anything apart from staying in hiding? Um, how, uh, how, how likely is it to do the sling then and remain hidden? Um, it's possible. And sorry, I forgot to give um a nemesis card to Heidi for her successful trick. Yay. Um, you haven't got the preternatural stealth of Mr. Kavanagh, but you can Hold give on. it a shot. And to talk, no, is it yeah, taunt? at the end of your go, you always get to take a card from your hand into your pool. Oops. What would taunt involve? Because it looks like I'm good at taunting. Um, so I'd have, they'd have to see me, wouldn't they? Your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. It's classic. <laughs> but I couldn't do that hidden, could you? No, really? you cannot necessarily taunt someone from hiding. So what would it do to them? What, uh, what, what does it make happen to them? What do they, if I taunt them? But it depends what the taunt is. Again, it's an interaction attack. You describe what you're doing. You always have a player's call in mind if you get an, a, an extraordinary success 10 over their target but if you get a standard success you can make them stymied or vulnerable if you get a good success five over the target you can make them doubly stymied doubly vulnerable or stymied and vulnerable and on an extraordinary success 10 over you can do all of that and you get a player's call which versus mooks like this is whatever you decide it's going to take them out of the conflict let's give it a go i'll taunt them I'm going to make fun of their, um, their, their, their headdresses, kilts. Yeah, yeah, their kilts. That was it. Their kilts and the headdresses and their skinny bodies. How you're, many you're are not, you? You're not warriors. Um, how many are left? Eight. Eight. Two oh. of which, no, one of which is. Um, did you do five? You did five, not six, didn't you, Roger? Uh, um, yeah. yeah, one of them is hanging back significantly further from the group 
So it would be harder to do anything on him. No, we had four actually. So. Oh, okay. They're all in a group then. And what would that be negative wise to up for my role? Again, you're like probably, because you're at a distance, it's difficult to do interaction attacks at a distance. So you're going to be at a minus two for distance straight away. Your voice does carry. Okay. Minus two. And then if I tried to interact all eight, that would give another minus. Another minus 14. Whoa. Okay. That's not. So that would be a minus 16 overall. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I, I'll go. Oh God! <laughs> the front three, I'll, the closest three. What would that give? Them that minus wise. Minus six aggregate. Minus six in total. And yeah, I'm so four, with... minus four for doing three, and minus two for the the, the range. Gosh, Dan. I'll just go. I'll do my two. I'm gonna. Okay. Everyone else is taking so two. You're a minus go, four. I'll go for two. So minus four. Okay. And there's number of four on your taunt. Um, so it's with the minus four, just whatever your taunt value oh, yeah. is. 13. Um, 13 there, taunt defense. That is enough to get a good success. Let's go for a possibility there. So good success. So I, I don't need too much more then for a player's call. You got a 13, didn't you? Yeah. You need... Hang on. Five more. Four more. No, five more. Five more, and I'm... Oh, sorry, seven. we've got four more, four more. I was, looking, I was working out the maths and looking at the wrong thing. The taunt defence is seven. Yeah, and I automatically get plus ten if I do a thingy. So, so you'd be, be on a 27, which yes. would be an eight. Excellent. No, give me a nine. 27? Yeah, you good point, yeah. You still get that, to roll. So that give me a place call. Cool. Right, use a possibility. Mark it off. Roll. It's a 12. So it actually still gives you a nine. 20, yes, nine. Um, so it's two of them hear your words, and having seen four of their number already taken down, take your words to heart. And over to you. Uh, they flee into the desert where those snakes are and get sure, taken they, out by desert. The snakes. They drop their weaponry and run in the other direction you have six combatants left ahead of java are you doing anything as this seemingly the group that were previously hidden around you have uh, snuck off oh. and thrown knives or have just stood direction. up on a they've stood up on a tombstone and started yelling um bad things about their fashion sense at them <laughs> oh, i will just do that then does so that class as a manoeuvre what I just did? No, you did a taunt. Damn it. Job was doing a manoeuvre, yeah? Yeah. So, okay, you're going to, again, you're going to have to reveal your presence to them. And it's dex based, it's physical. So you're probably making your way into open ground to give them different targets. And the, if you succeed, the group gets confused and those that you're attempting to outmanoeuvre will get the disbenefit. So yeah, it's so, a minus so, number of one at the moment. This maneuver you use to feint the fake open you for a turn upon you. Yeah, so this is physical. Try one of them. So you're doing the out maneuvering. Uh, where the hell was I? 13. Uh, one. You're at a minus two for the range at the moment. Range? Yeah, because they're not in hand to hand combat. They're about 50 meters away. Oh. That's two. I don't have possibilities, so I have to take what I've got. Minus two is minus one, which is minus one. Eight. I got eight. We do not just one of them, yeah? Yeah, just one. Okay, that was a maneuver, wasn't it? Got to find their maneuver skill. Oh, that is enough for a standard success. Exactly what you needed. They have a maneuver of eight. So you get a card. What do you want to make him, the one you're doing it against? Are you making him vulnerable or stymied? One of them means he doesn't hurt me. Uh, stymied will make it harder for him to do anything against you. That's the one. And you did step up and have placed yourself in risk. So, standing up against the 
<laughs> Outnumbering force is enough to kick in your personal moment of crisis. I've already got Alertus 10. Yeah, I go put it on your couch sheet already. Oh, okay. Right. So yours was a little quieter because you're not in line of sight of everybody else. But again, you, you're standing up in defense of what you know about um, various feelings that what they're doing is wrong. That's not historically accurate. Those planes shouldn't even work. I'm like, whoever lends an army in bare-chested and wearing skirts into battle, the, the, there's no body armor of any kind. Um, so you feel really, 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 really grounded in core Earth reality um, and gain the reality skill at three adds. Uh, you gain the negation perk, which means you can spend a possibility to prevent your opponents from spending one. And you also gain situational awareness. So any future combats, you'll be able to start with one card in your pool. Um, double check the other skill adds to make sure what I put on your cat sheet matches up. I gained a few fire combat and I gained uh, melee weapons, I think it was. Yeah, I think you basically got some combat skills that she didn't have before. Cool. Um, second round, because you did catch them by surprise. They've managed to move up a little bit, but that's about it. You break through. You have a flurry and go before the villains and taunt is the approved action. Hmm. Who is beginning? If anyone's going to taunt, they should do it. Can I taunt? Well, yeah, none of the ones you're currently up against, well, apart from one, one number seven is stymied. Uh, the rest have all been taken out before they would have been able to recover, but they would still have that effect on them this round as well. Can I taunt? I'm going to You taunt can yell it. again, yeah? Yes, I'm going to do the same to some others because I felt, I feel um, empowered by making them it worked. away. It works. Yeah, and say, see your friends running, you better do the same. Go on, you ninny, you sissies. Yeah. On how many of them? Um, There's still a minus left. two for range. There are six left. I'm not going to do it on all six. Let's let's be brave and we'll go for three this time. Okay, oh. so that's a minus six overall currently. Darn it. It's not as good as before. Um, I will use a possibility. An, okay, because you're an overall minus 12 at the moment. That's better. Oh, that's, better. So that's, that's a bonus number of six. So you're an overall zero currently. Um, I will use my... Has somebody used a drama card or a hero card? No, I don't think so. Okay. Not recently. Has anyone played any cards? Wait, no, I thought... I... Didn't I use the drama last round? I thought I did. If you did. Can I take it from the master plan? See, no reason why not. And then play it? You, does master plan put it straight in your pool? I think it does. Yes, it? it does. Yeah. Then yes, you can. So I'll just delete master plan from your pool. We won't bother putting yes. the drama card in place. Yep. So I tried to delete master plan from your pool. Didn't let me. Delete item. That's better. Um, it's a thirty-four. So it's a bonus number of ten to so an aggregate plus four currently. So that's seventeen. And that's what you needed to get a player's call. Yay! I force them off the same way the other two went. Two more begin running into the three, desert. Three, wasn't it? So, oh, three. You did do three, didn't you? Yep. Yep. Three more run off into the desert. They all drop their weapons as they run, by the way. Oh, what weapons do they have? Um, they are carrying. Uh, they haven't had a chance to fire them yet. Um, submachine guns. Hells, bells. Okay. World War II style submachine guns. MP40s, if you want to be exact. Who's going after the kid? Do I get a card? Kelsey, yeah. Kelsey wants to go? Cool. Can Ke uh, Kelsey yell, um, we've got them on the run, and uh, inspire everyone by playing inspire. Uh, 
Go ahead. <laughs> so everyone can choose uh, a possibility, a destiny card, or to recover three shots. Possible. Oh, cool. Possible. So simply nice. coming out of his shell. What, remind me, was that an inspiration or was that law of action? Inspire. Inspire. Oh, you already deleted it from your pool. Yeah. Does does anyone want to master plan that? It's quite good. <laughs> He's just I wish I had. Plan. I wish I had. <laughs> oh. You'd already used a different one. Okay, so who wants what? If you want a possibility, just go ahead and add a possibility to your pool. Tell yep. me if you, any of you want Take a Destiny on. card. Did every, everyone took a possibility, I think, looking yep. at it. Yep, very good choices. Okay, well, you played the card. That's your Inspire. Obviously, you're out at the front, and people are looking and seeing the, the quiet American. Um, he's right out in the middle of things, and obviously taking um, solace from that and becoming a little more inspired than they were before. What are you actually doing, apart from inspiring? Um, he will... Uh... He's becoming quite energized now, and he'll do a sort of fancy spin and throw two more daggers at the the uh, cards. Go ahead. Oh dear. That's... You're only doing it at a guard, so don't dismiss it before you've checked. Minus four to to um fourteen ten. Uh, ten is over there, dodge. Not by a five, so you don't get a bonus dice. So you still so, hit him. Um, eight damage. Uh, eight damage, okay. He doesn't go down. It's the first instance where one doesn't go down. Um, but your knife sort of embeds it quite deeply in his, his left side. Um, looks down, pulls it out with a sneer, and just lets the blood drip down his muscular chiseled pecs. But you'll get another go in a minute because it's Hero's Flurry. Um, who's going after Kelsey? Uh, I think I'm going to test out my uh, lightning thing. Test? Sure. That doesn't make sense. You've tested it loads of times. You know this stuff. But this is the first time you fired it. How can I have tested it if I have never... Oh, I'll worry about that nonsense like logic later. <laughs> yeah. Um... Don't forget, you can trade cards between people, but it's hand-to-hand, pull-to-pull. So if you've got a card you think is rubbish that you think somebody else might be useful, uh, then trade it with them. So, uh... Um, it would be a minus two with an eight. Minus two with an eight. Minus two would put me at... Yeah, because there's still a distance. Well, what's the distance on the electro ray? Electro ray, is it... Um, 10, 25, 50. Yeah, so you're at minus two still. Actually, minus four, because you're... No, they've, they've moved a bit close. You're at minus two. I'm going to say left a bit, right a bit. You can do it. Uh, so a supporter card is being played for you, which would give you a plus one aggregate. Yeah, yay, yeah, 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 that's good. Um, so your energy weapons is your dex plus two. So you're on a little... 12 at the moment. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Yep, that's certainly... Uh, it's one point shy of being able to get an extra bonus die of damage if you, you or anyone else wants to do anything different. Nah, I'm no. probably going to kill them regardless. Because it's it, this one deals quite a bit. Um, yes, there is a very unusual. It, whatever any of you, apart from Heidi, envisioned the sound an electro ray would make, it's nothing like that. Um, and you hit the shock trooper square in the chest, and the electricity literally courses or any shakes in the way you'd expect somebody in a cartoon being hit by a taser shakes, and he goes down, lightly steaming. I believe the lion is the only one yet to go? Or has Java not gone this round? I can't remember. Gone yet. So lion and Java still. Well, how many have we got left? Two! Right, I'll take shooting both of them. Uh, he wants to shoot him before Java gets a chance. Oh well, unless Java wants to come with something exciting. Nope, man's not going to be exciting. Man's so that's a minus four currently. Sensible. That gives you a minus six overall. Well, I've spent that possibility I uh, got earlier. Okay. Thank you very much. So 
So 21, that's a bonus number of 8 onto your skill. Um, minus 2, minus 4, so that's a 4 onto your skill. 4 onto my skill gives me a grand total of 16. 16 is more than 5, but not more than 10 over the dodge. So please roll one bonus die for damage and add it to the 38. Three damage. The revolvers uh, and eight well, damage is twelve, so it's fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, two more. Short thirty-eight. And the group that was coming up against you falls down. You can still see the retreating four that are running away. Um, need to know what you're doing very quickly. Are you I doing anything? To go over to pick up my gun. You're doing it quickly, yeah. I've got to take one of the guns because. I have no weapons. Shop. Anyone else doing anything? Perhaps if we to stop him, I'll say. We need to go to the big pyramid column thing. You run out, and you've just managed to grab one of the SMGs. Um, Camille, maybe you're running out after Java, but she's ahead of you. Uh -huh. um, and... A change in the noise from above makes you all look up. Um, a different kind of vehicle rolls out of the Maelstrom Bridge. It's an angular tank, three times the size of the others. Banners stream behind it, and atop its turret sits a cowled figure sat upon a golden throne. Give me a second. I've lost all my images. Of course, now I can't get the image into where I want it to go. Is this, do you say, is this Pans of Pacifica? No. No, Nile Empire. Oh, no. Give me a second need to get over the technical side of things. As you can see, uh, is that on new or have I done it in characters? So a cowled figure figure sat upon an ornate golden throne atop this three times the size tank. The hooded face, even at this far distance, you can tell, you don't know how, but you can tell the face turns to look directly towards your group. And you feel a sense of dread overcome you. But as that dread builds, Another tremor from the marching feet shakes the plateau and a great rift opens beneath you all and you tumble down into the cool darkness of a chasm below. Rock and sand crash down around you as everything goes dark. So just before scene two, can everybody please return all of their pool cards into their hand? What was the gun? The gun is an MP40. It is damage 13. Range 10, 25, 40. It can do short bursts and it has ammunition of, find the right one, MP40, MP40. Living there, Nile MP, no, it's frag grenades, it's missile weapons, not guns. Got to find the guns now. Malay, missile. Firearms, yay. And ammo of 32. It's got a full clip. It 
did we have time to, <coughs> sorry did we have time to grab any more um not if you didn't say it when i was asking what's everyone doing what's everyone doing what's everyone doing i'm going to be mean and say no have they not fallen down with us into this crowd? i'm going to be mean and say no <laughs> yeah, me. but a good find check might find one however i was only going to take the uh, the 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 clips not the actual guns i'll definitely can't do that that's far oh. too sensible <laughs> I'll do a fine check. When the dust settles, you find yourselves in an underground chamber. There are just the five of you. Mo, his mother, Miss Caramel, Halil, possibly still on the surface, possibly buried under tons of rock and sand. However, you can see that boulders and rock are blocking the cavern rift above you um, and have filled in the passage completely behind you. This is, of course, assuming any of you are making any light, otherwise you won't be able to see anything or make a find check, the kid. Does anybody have anything in their inventory that they think will enable them to make light? Uh, well, I did have a tablet, but that disappeared more when I transformed that. Well, think. that's what the gun is now. Oh. <laughs> well, I could. Well, I don't know. Maybe if I could, like, like tinker with it and make it, like, just shoot very, very, very slight lightning bolts. <laughs> Sounds like a science <laughs> roll to me. Then, okay. okay. So, Heidi, but, in pitch darkness. I was going to say, but don't forget, you can't see what you're doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Turn this into a. Yeah, that probably failed regardless. It's a bomb. It might be. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally turned it. It wasn't a one. Well, everyone just starts what hearing ticking. <laughs> What's ticking now? What's <laughs> <really> ticking? <laughs> Where's Kelsey gone? Um, what did my camera and mobile phone become? Um, an oldie style camera and a walkie talkie. Does the camera have a flash? <laughs> it just keeps taking Yes, it but it has two bulbs. Okay, I can blind everyone briefly. <laughs> <laughs> and then do it again. <laughs> just as I think my eyes are coming back. I'm starting to see Did something. Oh, oh no, it's gone again. again. I believe Java was the single modern character that doesn't have a mobile phone. Oh, I don't, I don't have paper one. Paper and pencils. That's it. Or pen, sorry. Pen, pens and paper. It I've got I a water bottle. When I when the world changed, I still have pans and paper, and that's it. You do, because you had you had um, Axiom appropriate gear for the Nile Empire before you even got here. Because Tech Axiom twenty pens and paper perfectly adequate. Yeah, so um, give me some find checks. We were five cards, weren't we? Uh, you are, yeah, you can keep five. Or you don't have to discard because you only discard down to five or down to four normally at the end of an act. And this is scene transition, so there's no discarding. Okay, I've got six. So, it's okay. so we don't get to draw back up to five? No, you'd only do oh. that at the end of this, the act as well. Um, just so you know, you're at a minus five, minus six to this roll for the pitch darkness. That's six. That still puts me at ten. So you've got a find of 10 regardless with the minus, yeah? Yeah. So got okay. 16. Um, who hasn't rolled yet? Find checks, please. With your find check? Okay. Yeah, please. It's at a minus 60 total because you're basically fiddling around in pitch darkness. No idea. Oh. I've got a point oh, I guess to roll it. We, that, that would help you if you rolled a 20, but everybody re-rolls on a 10. Yeah. And again on a and 10. And again? Yay! Oh, 20. That's a 26. Gives oh. you a bonus number of 8. What's your fine total with a minus 6 to it? Uh, eight minus 6 is 2. So, add it to your fine. 2, 3, and 9, 13. It's 9, not 8. What? Oh, yeah, 26. Nine. My bad. It's a 9. So, you got a 14, not a 13. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so you're the only person that got over 10. The difficulty was 12. So you're all walking around, and um, Java recoils slightly as her hand um, touches something that's... Well, it's, a, it's going a little cold and clammy, but it's still a little warm. Um, and you move that's up. me. And then you're feeling it's a bit meatier toward the top. And then you feel something... God. Definitely me. Feel something cold and hard. Right. And it... Okay, you detach it from the shock trooper's belt and you fiddle around and then you click and it's an old style flashlight. Oh, at least it's a flashlight because my mind is so filthy, you know what I was thinking. Does it mean, mean it keeps going out as well? Like It might do. It's a Tech 20 movies. flashlight. <laughs> and when you put the light down, you see the lower torso of a shock trooper poking out from rubble um the most operative item of rubble is a massive boulder that seems to have literally sort of crushed his upper torso which is unfortunately where all the bandoliers of bullets would have been i found a torch flick it on look at that there turn it off with the quick flicking on of your torch you can determine you're not in a natural cave. Um, even with the briefest of lights, Java, in fact, it's probably the brief switch, and then you immediately, curiosity gets the better of you, and you switch it back on again. The walls are carved with ancient hieroglyphs. The passageway in one direction is sealed by the cave in that brought you down. You look above, and you can see dust still coming through um where there's about an eight foot rent in the ceiling which you obviously all fell through and that itself is also filled with rock and rubble every so often a couple of pebbles fall out a little bit of dust falls out it's obviously still shifting you can can you resist the urge to read the hieroglyphs the hallway you're in leads away in the other direction into darkness that the torch beam cannot penetrate why would i not want to read them it's up to you if you can resist you, you I, no well, there's no resisting with... i am reading them it, my my skills are mind and spirit so give me you know. a difficulty 14 test against scholar please Aww. Ooh. That's a six. I think that's enough. Six scholar is three, so it's nine plus the nineteen. Nineteen. Um, you're looking at them. You can determine the the dialect or the the imagery is roughly from the time of the period of Caffrey's was constructed. So it took three four thousand years ago. However, you also know that you're in a portion of the Gaza Plateau that has been scanned by ultrasound um and you're almost certain that the last time you looked at the findings from those archaeological ultrasound procedures there were no underground chambers in the area of the plateau that you were in um, unless they were more than 300 feet underground which was the the extent of the scan of the ultrasound with that dichotomy of logical disjunction going off in the back of your mind you start looking at the various imagery um it's less writing and more a repetitive symbol um the most common symbols are of a scroll and scorpions of various size fill the di various different um, images on the wall so what's that mean it means it's it's the it's the symbol for scroll or writing and the pictographic representations of scorpions. It's so, quite literal. Scorpions, <laughs> scorpions of scrolls, the scorpion club. <laughs> Maybe the scorpions have become literate. Scroll scorpions. Anyone else got an idea? Because I'm blank here. Um, You're the brains. Well, out of game, my brain's not working. <laughs> yeah. 
in game. My character's so smart. I don't know, is it some... Well, I think Heidi's got you on the smart. But, mag yeah. Magical scrolls to summon scorpions, or... So, the only symbols are these scrolls and scorpions? Well, the only ones he can work out, um, the others... I mean, the vast majority of them, or the most common ones, are a scroll and scorpions of various sizes. There are other bits and pieces, but they don't seem to make any kind of sense. Um, a lot of it looks like somebody just went, well, this looks a bit Egyptian, and it's just up on the wall. But the consistent theme is the scroll and the scorpions, plural, in various sizes. Maybe I reckon it's some like maybe it's a library of the scorpions, and all all sizes are welcome. I mean, can we make some sort of check is to it, make sense? Is, of is it like an arrow? Does it say go this way? Um, no, there there is no arrow to say which direction to go. There is a collapsed in corridor telling you which which direction not to go, and the corridor does continue away from you in the other direction consistently unblocked as far as your torch can see so this scroll scorpion things as a map thing is that what it is no they're just symbols on the walls they seem to be decoration yeah it made no, made, that makes no sense just listen to her. Could it, the scroll just be some sort of spell or something? So it's to make the enlarge things, or could be. You, you, I mean, Java, you're looking. You, you knew the, or you know the, the Coptic imagery for for magic and fate, and destiny, and all those. Um, while every so often those images do appear in a large section of the wall you're looking at, um, it's not in any kind of arranged or organised way. They do continue down the passageway into darkness away from you. The, the walls continue to be decorated. Let's follow them. See what they say. I think I remember a passageway down here. Yeah, yeah. This way. Well, might as well follow it. Maybe the next one will say scrolls of the dogs or something. Scarab beetles. Mm. You walk for a couple of minutes. Um and the corridor opens out into a large chamber. Um, wide, high walls. You're looking at the chambers at least 30, 40 feet high. And there's a large doorway at the far end, uh, which looks like two stone blocks. You can see a seam visible running down the middle. However, before you get to the door, you know that the walls of this chamber are gloriously painted with colourful murals. Um, again, the paint looks fresh as if it was applied yesterday. Um, so fresh, in fact, that the robbers being eaten alive by thousands of scorpions depicted in the murals look alive almost. Um, the high ceiling itself is painted with lines and lines of Egyptian style priests, you know, the sort of like the side on imagery of the priests, um, each carrying a quill. And they are all marching towards, and you can tell it's a representation of the Pyramid of Khafre. And at the top of the pyramid, a giant scorpion looms. And the priests looms, sorry, a giant scorpion looms over the pyramid and the priests with a golden scroll floating above the scorpion's head. Okay, so this way is the scorpion scroll. Scorpion's scroll. So I reckon we're heading towards the temple of... Did you say temple of Khafre? Uh, the, the pyramid of Khafre is definitely featured. Which one's the pyramid? I've seen... The I see the temple. Where's the pyramid? The pyramid. There's two pyramids. There's the pyramid of Giza and the, of, the, of Khufru, and the, they're both at Giza. Oh, okay. There it is. Yeah, the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Pyramid of Khafre is the southwest pyramid in the image. 
That's okay. I, I was looking at the valley, so the valley's uh, smarter. Anyway, okay, we're, we're heading towards the pyramid, so let's go to the top of this pyramid. Okay, well, the pyramid's painted on the ceiling. It's part of the great mural that's above you. So do you reckon we're below it? Did you say um, these scorpions that are painted on the mural look almost lifelike? Well, the, the paint is fresh. And the robbers being eaten alive by thousands of scorpions certainly looks as lifelike as Egyptian painting can be. Can I touch one? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I touch one. Okay. Uh, give me a find check as you're touching one. Drop dead. Yeah, but I can come back alive. It's okay. Okay. You, you reach out. It feels like. Well, you're not really sure what paint feels like, but it certainly feels like stone. So my fingers aren't wet with paint uh, no. like that? No. I mean, if you really push and rub your finger hard, some of the, the paint does come off on your finger. Okay. Sniff it and look at it. And... You're not sure what ancient Egyptian paint should smell like, but it, it smells dye-ish. Can we make any sort of uh, check to make sense of this? Paintings, like if there's a yeah, go ahead. If you want to make a find check or a scholar check to represent your examining, just tell me what uh, bit of the paintings you're examining. Um, I guess the, the the ones on either wall, which represent, which basically show robbers being consumed by scorpions, yeah, or the yeah. procession of priests towards the Templar Cafe, overlooked by the scorpion on the roof. Um. So, um, I didn't hear a response if you said one. Yeah, uh, I'll start with the walls. Okay, what's your find total? Uh, find total is 15. Okay, you're examining the left wall. You're about halfway along when you notice uh, a relatively well hidden seam um, about, I mean, it's a double seam, it appears, it appears to be about two to three inches wide running parallel up the wall and your eyes follow it up and then you see at the top, there's a slight depression at the top of the seam. You run your fingers around it and yeah, you could get purchase on that and you could probably pull that down. You haven't done so yet because you you feel some resistance to just your your application of minor force with your fingers. You probably have to get two hands behind it and really pull. Uh, okay, I call up to the others. Uh, hey, I I find something, something, uh, something uh, um, pullable. <laughs> I don't know. Indeed, like a bed. It appears to be some kind of liver. Ah, yes. Liver, it, uh... Yeah. Camille? I did it with information she didn't know. <laughs> Are there any instructions on the lever? Uh, Do not pull. You, I mean, <laughs> it, it, is in, it is in the middle of a bunch of robbers getting consumed by yes. scorpions. So scorpion, perhaps... Scorpion, scorpion, robber, robber, eat. Yeah, perhaps it's a cautionary tale against being a robber. That's the only instruction you could get from it. Grab Kelsey and run out. Get him out of here, quick! He's going to pull it. I feel strangely compelled to pull this lever. Give me a strength check. <laughs> no. Start running. <laughs> we need to leave. Revenge. <laughs> no. <laughs> it wouldn't be revenge because Alexander's not here. Bonus number of five onto your strength, which I believe isn't Seven. particularly high. Okay. it's you, you get your grip behind it and you begin to pull. It moves by about an inch or so. You keep pulling and it keeps moving. But while you're concentrating on the lever, everyone else hears a rumbling from the far end of the chamber. As Kelsey is pulling the lever down, the seam that was in the middle of the two bits of the, of the door is moving to the left. Until once Kelsey arm shaking with effort is holding the lever down at a 90 degree angle it's as far down as it will go the seam is whereas it was in the midpoint of the the door before the seam is now probably at the 10 percent let's say away from the left hand wall side of the door 
Does that mean the pictures have changed? No, there's, there's no pictures on the door, the door itself. All that's happened, all that's apparently happened, is the seam that's previously in the middle has now moved to about the 10% point on the left. But it's not opened. It doesn't appear to have opened. Maybe there's another one, though. Another you switch. start look looking. Where are you side. looking? You well, look on the other side, and lo and behold, there is another lever on the other side, directly opposite this one. Which it did. Well, at the moment, Kelsey, are you still holding the lever down? Um, you can feel resistance. I will stop uh, holding the lever down. Okay, the lever slowly begins to retract up takes it about three or four seconds until it's right at the top. And over the course of those four seconds, the seam returns to the center point. Perhaps if we pull all the levers simultaneously, something wondrous will happen. Like a thousand scorpions come pouring in each you. That would be wondrous. It'd be a wonder to behold. I think Who's that's if we rob pulling the other lever. Too strong. I, I'm not I'm strong not. enough. No. I'm gonna hide. But that makes it a bit like Mr. Camel there, or I think it's probably the lion. Mr. Lion. And if Skellen is still present, you I'm might. still present. I've yep. got to pull this up. Yep, they need you to use your uh, wondrous strength to pull a lever. Okay, I will I talk. Can't think we're all in favour of this, yeah? <laughs> I'll talk enthusiastically upon the lever. Jerry, oh, bonus no. number? I'll spend a possibility uh -huh. as I talk enthusiastically. Well, don't worry about spending a possibility. You can just try again. You, you go and you... you, you you said your fingers slip off your first attempt. Your second attempt gives you a bonus number of one. And you that's a, that's a 12, isn't it, with your strength? It is. Okay, you keep your grip on it this time. Your fingers slip the first time. And you pull your lever down. And as you pull your lever down, the seam moves from the middle to the 10% point on the right. As you're looking, what you actually see is happening is it looks like the two slabs that comprise the door, as you pull the lever for one, it moves backwards, but the other one moves forward with it to occupy the space. So once Camille's got his lever pulled all the way down, is Kelsey repulling his one? Yeah, well, I'll try and do it at the same time. Okay. Well, you, you give it a chance now. Oh, ten. Race again, Twenty-seven. That's you've got the hang of this now. That's a bonus number of nine. You pull yours down. Um, handed. Sort of like you, you wait a couple of seconds. Camille was holding his one in place. You go, oh, I'm going to pull mine as well. And you pull yours, and lo and behold, the left hand slab begins to move away from the right hand one. As it does, Camille, you feel a little more pressure on your side. But again, after three or four seconds, it's open. And there is a dark corridor doorway ahead. Looks the slabs now that if anyone goes up and looks, they look to be about a good two, two and a half feet thick. Um, is there any way to... Um lock these in position or block the door um you what you've got you can try well uh, is there anything in this room like a, a block of stone or something not within this room this room is quite clean apart from you've got the two um Any levers down on the walls in the previous um, room there were but you're not sure how secure that is as i remember it was a there were dust and bits of stone still coming down through it. Moving any one of those could make the whole lot come down, but that's a risk. 
Um, can we see anything in the next room? Um, it's a bit dark, and there's somebody shining a torch there. Hang on. Oh, I got a torch. Somebody did. Somebody picked up a. Yeah, didn't somebody? Shine a torch in your eyes and go. Oh, look at this. It was you, was it then? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was. Shine it down there. What's, what's in I, there? That's, that's why I made the joke. The uh, torchlight goes down. There's a short corridor, probably no more than about 10, 15 feet. And then you see it branches left and right into narrow, no more than about five feet wide corridors in both directions. Any hieroglyphics that say, if you do this, you will die. If you do this here, you will get this lovely treasure. A um, bit difficult to look at this range. You'd have to get a bit closer. Well, I thought there was writing all the way on the walls as you walk. Down. On these ones, you can see some hieroglyphics at the far end of the, the chamber. But, but even then, if you were stood at the doorway looking, it's about 35, 40 feet away. And with a 1920s <laughs> torch, it's not a mag light. It's not really casting okay. a... Since this is a pulp world, I'm going to look for the big trap with the big, big rolling ball. You're standing I, just in front of you. There are two, two and a half foot thick slabs, which are only being held back by the levers your companions are. Ah, this is the big, big trap then. Okay. Apart from that, you can see, give me a find check. Can't see anything suspicious. I mean, there isn't anything suspicious, but with your, no. yeah, you're not seeing anything suspicious. Yeah, I'll head through the the gap to the other side. Okay, I'll you head through push. the gap to the other side, looking around. What are you doing? Pushing walls as you're going. Uh, I was more likely using my eyes. I don't want to push us. Like okay, a you're not touching here. anything. You're pushing. Um, Looking. As you approach, what you thought were hieroglyphs um, turn out that the, the walls are quite solid, but in between the blocks, there do appear to be places where the, the mortar is um, not there. So there, there are gaps between the stones. Um, you can't see any writing on the walls that are within your view, um, but you get to the, the junction at the bottom, shiny talks to the left. Corridor continues down about 35 feet, branches in each direction again. In the other direction, the corridor continues down, uh, looks like it's a crossroads after about 20 feet, and then another 10 feet after that, it branches left. Yeah, back there, you're all in the dark. There's a little bit of light reflecting from the torch further on, but yeah, you're all in the dark. So, um, they're holding back the... I'm already past the, the crushy bit then. Yep. All right, it's safe over here, guys. Do I see any levers? Just Give me a fine check. Oh, God, I'll never find... No, I told you. Can, you can add up for any, like, trip switches or anything at all. following Java down there. Keep these doors open. Uh, oh yeah, uh, we might also just be on the lookout for, you know, old style fire torches. Okay, haven't found any thus far. Can I do a check for that? Or, I don't know. You'd what have problems? spotted them in this particular area up until now, if you had. Right. But you've, you've not seen any so far. They do seem thematic though, or, or like lights of some kind, like mm -hmm. lamps and whatnot. I mean, it's very dark in there. Someone would need something to see the hieroglyphs, right? Indeed. That is potentially one of the uh, strange logic flaws here. Logic flaw? Yeah, you've got a, a, a well-appointed, well-painted mural with no light sources with which to view it. Can I turn the light switch on? Uh, if you find one. <laughs> what was your find check? You rolled a 14. It was a oh, total. Um, uh, I will use a possibility. Okay. Peggy now. All right. Oh, if any your possibility rolls, it's not a mishap. It's a 24, gives you a bonus number of 8. Um, 16. 
Okay, you don't find a light switch. Um, while you're assist? searching no. on the other side, you do note there's a very, very almost imperceptible vibration um, in the walls. Reminiscent of the tramping of thousands of feet. First thing that comes to mind is if that's the army up top, we're very deep. Did we not get hurt in the fall? No. Oh. Miraculously, you were unharmed. So there's no lever to hold these doors open or anything like that? Or any, not on this side, no. Any, any big slab or bar, metal bar to put in the way? Uh, not that you've found. Okay. No. Sorry, guys, you're going to have to stay there holding the doors open. Good luck. Hmm. The uh, vibrations, are they and they're like high up the walls, or are they, you know, I'm trying to work out where they... Can't really work out positional. Um, they could, when they he pointed though. out, when he pointed out, it's, yeah, you can definitely, you can feel it. The, the walls are... Um, Transmitting movement from somewhere. Okay. They are good though. So is there he's like ID accompanying the others to the thud or anything like that? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, she's following him. Okay. So at the moment, Kelsey and Camille are. We'll say in slight darkness, not entire darkness yet. We'll say you've stayed at the other end. With the torch. Sorry, um, did I release the lever? No, not yet. You're still standing there holding it. It's getting your arms getting quite sore now. Well, I'll release it and try and dash through. Okay. Do you need to time this with uh, Camille first? Yes. Well, yeah. Get ready to run. <laughs> on three. <laughs> run. Camille turns around in the pitch dark. Talk thinks he's talking to you. So, Kelsey. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. You're going to need to make a dex total here. It's only a standard difficulty number um, because the the doors do take three or four seconds to close. Who's the fatter person, though? They need to go first. Could be Kelsey. Oh, I'm going to spend plus spell. It's a 13. Bonus number of one onto whatever your dex is. And what did... Camille get. Dexterity, please. That's a bonus number of zero. Eleven. And Kelsey got? Thirteen. Thirteen. You both, you time, three, two, release on one, yeah? Yeah, one and release and then run. You don't even have to make way for one or another. The doors are slowly closing, and you both make it past them abreast of each other. So they, and then there's a, you come on the other side of the wall, and there's a 1,000, 2,000. <laughs> so you had that much breathing space. Did that fairly comfortably, then. So cool. You did. However, the vibrations have started getting louder. Okay. Uh, you can now hear scratching. Oh. Coming from pretty much everywhere. Like little ratties. Um, more legs. Uh, we don't want any more legs. Or little scorpions, I think. Oh, scarabs. Um, you move to meet your companions at the far end of the corridor. And um, Java, you probably let out a, a shrill ee! squeak or whatever. As you, you bring your torch to bear on... Kelsey and Lion as they're moving towards you and four or five feet behind them it seems like the walls are just disgorging scorpions onto the floor has anyone got any fire what are you guys anyway? doing as we enter into a chase scene do you remember how chase scenes work from last time Essentially, we'll progress in pseudo rounds. Each round, you attempt, and you will be individually attempting, to 
outpace the scorpion swarm. Um, you will test dexterity to gain steps. Of course, you've only got one light source, so it's going to get complicated. Does anyone have any way of making fire? Well, oh, that's the wrong card. Uh, well, I just got a lightning gun. Oh, yeah. Okay, first round then. Would you if be you able to blast them in some way? Like, because if we can set fire to it all, and, I don't know, will they burn? Scorpions? Okay, anything you try this round will get you a card. Um, you have to complete steps A, B, C, and D to get away from the scorpion swarm. You're effectively inspired this round because you have the inspiration um, tagline. Do you remember what inspiration does? No. It's not exactly the same as the card, so. Inspiration. You all recover two shock, and unconscious individuals wake up part of this recovery. But I don't think any of you are wounded at the moment. Now, the swarm of scorpions, which is still pouring out of the walls on each side of the doorway that's closed behind you, will take their go on their go. Um, you're all at, well, step zero at the moment. You have not completed step A. Uh, Quick, this way. Kelsey starts to run. In the Can way I... indicated by the kid? Uh, yeah. Is Java following with the light? I hope so, otherwise we're going to run into trouble very quickly. I think Dirac's AFK, so we'll assume oh. the answer to that is yes. Okay, so um, is Heidi attempting two things? Because was she going to attempt to try and blast the swarm with her electron well, gun? I don't know if that's... I mean, it would... Um, only if it could be somehow like adjusted to be more effective against the swarm because it's it's a you know very high damage weapon um so i'm not sure exactly can you that. spread the beam sort of thing rather than doing a narrow yeah. beam not as standard but i'll let you fiddle with it on a science check if you want that will be another action though right and well, that will mean you'll be in order to progress this round you'll be doing three actions off of the same total Perhaps you could fiddle with it, ready to shoot it next round. Yeah. Okay, so you're doing two actions. You're doing a fiddle check, and you're attempting <laughs> to move on. Fiddle check. <laughs> I, I get a card and then I pull, and if it's just one of these things, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you do. You can put a card and you pull straight away. Spend a possibility on that. Okay. On the fiddling. Oh, by the way, Kelsey and Lion, um, you can both have a possibility for doing the Indiana Jones charging towards the door thing. Well done, people. Well, you, looked, was jam. you looked very heroic as you ran in slow mo through the door. Hopefully, none of you forgot something behind there. Uh, 18. Okay, what was your total? Because you do, you have to apply the same bonus number with the multi action modifiers to both actions. So right. was it, you got a 16, you got a minus two for doing two actions. Right, so it's, it's a 16 on the side. And, um, yeah, because it's a bonus number of one because of the minus two. So. And the dexterity? 16, is... well, the dexterity is just add to your dex. Right, well, that's... Um, that's, 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 that's 11. 12, yeah. Okay. Wait, but it's minus... Uh, Hang on a second. Okay, you're, um, as you're running, and you do manage... Let's just take a note of everybody. So we're looking for Heidi, uh, the kid, Java, 
Lion and Kelsey. So the first person to actually succeed is Heidi, who is now effectively at step A. You've completed step A this round. Um, you've managed to, while you're going, you, you, you reach into a pocket that you, and there's a screwdriver or some weird um, tool that you didn't actually know you had, but oh, apparently it's perfectly suited. And you put it into the top of the gun and you give it a couple of twists and a jink and then it, a ratchet backwards and forwards. And then you pump the end of it three times with your thumb and then you pull it out and you think that's probably primed for a a wide beam for one shot. The kid. Not yep. when you get a card for that. And you can play a card into your pool as well, remember. That second chance was to Heidi. What's the kid doing? Just um, attempting? Yes. I, I mean, so. you can attempt multiple steps because multiple steps are available. However, what I'm going to say, anybody who is not in the same step as Java is going to get a distance penalty to whatever they're doing for being further away from the light. I assume I can't taunt these. Um, you are not going to be able to taunt the uh, no. inexorably flooding tide of scorpions, no. Right. Um, could I persuade them to? Uh, no. Yeah, but persuasion isn't an interaction attack. So. I will. I will. No, I will just do the um, the, the flea thing. The the ace dex total, deck. please. So it's dex. Is it with anything? Any skill? Nope. Or is it just just dex? dex? Oh, I get to roll. Yep. Oh, phew. <laughs> Sugar and spice. Use, yep, possibility. Go ahead. That's a 10, giving you a 12. You can Damn spend it. another possibility and roll that again if you want to. So much for my flipping grant possibility perk. <laughs> Need possibilities to be able to do that. Um, oh. Damn it! Go on then. <laughs> Gonna have okay, to. Okay, so you're at a two. So at this moment, you're spending a possibility in the hopes of getting better than a seven. No. Unfortunately. No, hang on. Get one. Oh, damn it! What? <laughs> Nothing. Useless. But that's still a ten. So it's still a third, a twelve. It's rubbish. That's zero. Bonus. What's your Nothing. deck total? Eight. Uh, you don't manage to make any progress. Who's going after the kid? As he yells at people this way and then seemingly is overtaken by all of his compatriots as they charge in the direction he indicated. It's a dex check, is it? Yep. So the lion is charging in that direction. Bonus Box number of one. That's 12. Are they all running towards me or something? Um, the kids gestured in a direction and they're running in that direction. You were AFK, so we assumed you'd run in that direction as well. Oh, okay. Um, Skellen, uh, Lion successfully makes the step with an A. Have a coup de gras card and remember to play a part card into your pool. Um, Java. And or Kelsey. I'll roll my dex check. You keep getting the tens. It's a bonus number of nine. You only stated you didn't say you were doing more than one, so. More than one what? <laughs> well, you can try. There's A, B, and C on the um, the skill oh, line, okay. so you could attempt more. But as I said, the further away you get from Java, who's got the light. Whatever you're doing, you'll start getting minuses because you're away from the light. But Kelsey manages to charge down the corridor without a single problem. Um, Java. Do I get a card? Oh, you do. Sorry for reminding me. You get a connection card. And you can play one into your pool as well. Yes. Um, your attempt to outrun the swarm, please. Which which status are running? Dexterity. Right. 
Uh, possible to do. I was about to say, that's a minus six. That's a 13. So that gives you a one. You've got the torch. Stay with me. Stay here. Oh, oh right. The dexterity, it's uh, my cards. Right. You're the only person that should have a card in their pool. Yeah, who hasn't you already should. ended their go. I'm going to drum that. Otherwise, I won't be going anywhere. Okay. Yay! That's a 13. That's a 30. So you're going to bonus number nine. You were, uh, after a brief false start, Java kicks in and follows the remainder of the group. And Gaz, the kid is just like, you, you're looking ahead of you, seeing the light moving away ahead of 17. you. And then you just, you're. Just Wait. engulfed. I meant this way. By scorpions. No! Oh, hate you all. Uh, actually, no, you don't. They don't get it this round, actually, because um, they actually get a chance to move on forward from you. But you watch helplessly as the walls and the ceiling and the floor becomes less floor and more scorpion. Does the scorpions attempt a dexterity check? Um, lost the stat. Gone. I didn't even open them. Storm. Everyone knows scorpions can't run. Yeah, did they get a card? Uh, I didn't give you one, but you should get one because you did succeed. Have a support card. Of course. Why didn't anyone support me? Because they weren't in their pool. <laughs> I need support. Um, their dexterity is only that. And they do not manage. So basically, kid, you're watching as your feet and then your calves and almost up to your knees begins to disappear in this swarm. Next. That yeah, one we keep doing the wrong one. Kids just... They so Nobody gets that one. We need to get rid of that support card. It's that one. Oh no! Okay. The villains go first, the heroes go second, there is a surge. You can attempt steps B and C, which means unfortunately the kid can't even attempt step A. It's not available. Um, however, you can defend, um, which is an approved action. However, anybody at the beginning of the turn, so this is before anyone gets a go, any character on the same step or lower suffers the swarm's damage automatically at the beginning of each turn. So the kid suffers 776. Yes. Six damage. Damn it. What's that mean? What's your toughness? Uh seven so it's it's under it's not more than 600 so you suffer one shock as the the things that are surrounding your legs begin to nip and claw at you um they don't appear to have penetrated your clothing yet but it's still um shock and adrenaline are kicking in they then do what they do um more there seem to be more and more coming from behind you the kid and about three feet behind you they've 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 above your head height so they can't actually get any further this round because they need to do step A as well. So at the moment, they are stuck at the same point as the kid. No! Which means they are going to attempt um, manoeuvres. So where we get a bit cheeky with the scorpions, they're actually doing manoeuvre on all of you. This is represented by the fact that there are scorpions dropping out of the walls all around you and ahead of you. Not enough to threaten you by being engulfed by the swarm, but enough to possibly confuse you or push you in the wrong direction. So they're making a single maneuver action, action against all of you. They do not get a multi-target penalty. Um, if they get a player's call, you're pushed back a step. However, otherwise, they are just attempting to stymie you by making your forward progress more difficult. That's a bonus number of zero on their manoeuvre skill. Right. 
Everybody he has to now get the impact of a manoeuvre of eight. What are all of your manoeuvre total? The kid, what's your manoeuvre skill at? Um, move. Manoeuvre. Man if you oh, haven't got the skill, oh, manoeuvre. Dex. Oh, okay, dex. Eight. It's the same. You are stymied. It means your next action gets a minus two to your total. Kelsey, what's Yay. your manoeuvre? Fourteen. You vault over a couple of scorpions as they drop down into the ground in front of you and continue movement. Lion, what's your manoeuvre? Nine. Likewise. Slightly more uh, or less athletically. Um, you notice one drops onto your shoulder and you just like brush it off with your left hand as it tempted like Damn just it. nip at your neck. Java. I'm what's so much manoeuvre? better than Lion. I've got nine. <laughs> Um, again, you're holding the torch, desperately trying to also give the kids some light from behind. Um, you just manage to avoid um, a, a crowd of three or four that have gathered on the ground in front of you. Heidi, what's your manoeuvre? Uh, nine. Nine. Again, likewise, you manage to uh, dive to the side um, from one or more of these things. So I don't think they can do anything else interesting because they haven't got any funky skills so now the heroes goes first thing you all need to do uh, is make me a surge check as a wave of malleable reality energy washes over you all someone have a cosm card that give people lots of uh possibilities possibly we don't know you haven't used your cousin uh, card yet i have a cousin card that could prevent disaster from happening that might be useful shortly yeah um who hasn't rolled lion you need to do a uh a contradiction check just roll a d20 don't get a one Ooh, very close still getting twos. you are well at least you're not getting ones luckily you're in your well you're in a cosm which you're not using you're using tools which are over the cosm, but they're not over you, so it's only a one case still. Okay, what are you all doing? Proved actions are a defend and intimidate if you're doing anything other than just trying to run away. I like the run away. Yeah, I'm running. Yeah, I'm running. Yeah. I might also try to zap them. If that's... Okay, well, that's two actions, because they got a minus two. Ten. Oh. Running is nine. What I what have to get ten? Do I have to get to get this to work? You have to test on a ten, yeah. Yeah, I'll do a possible. Uh, Lion, are you spending a possibility? Uh, Twenty. Things you only got. A he two. hasn't rolled yet. No, that was his other roll. Oh, that was your other roll, wasn't it? Okay, you haven't rolled yet. Yeah. Souls, my bad. Uh, is run twenty? Uh, is twenty a reroll on a run? Uh, there's no skill to get, so I'm going to say yes. Because everybody essentially has... You've got your basic stat. Fucking hell, look at that roll. Uh, uh, this is going to be hard for me to add, isn't it? 34. It's all right, you manage. You didn't say you were doing two steps, so you advanced to step B. 34. 49. So... 49, yeah. 21. Yay. So... Java advances to step B. Heidi, what did you get total? Um, yeah, you, as long as you haven't got a dex under 10, you've done that. Yeah. So that's a 4 on your dex, that's fine. Uh, Lion got a 16, so that's a 3 onto your dex. I believe you've got a dex of 11. Um, no, my dex is 9, so 3 okay, well, on top 12. of that is, yeah. That's fine, you needed to get a 10. Um, Kelsey, your dex is ridiculous, so... You all manage to advance to step B, leaving the kid who can't attempt to advance this round. Oh, and sorry, um, Heidi, you were doing two things, weren't you? So yeah. minus two to your total. I think that's still enough for your decks, isn't it, to get over 10? Yeah, it's... Okay. Um... And the same bonus number to your energy weapons, please. Right, which is... Uh... Then 15. 15 against its dodge because it will do normal damage. 
Because single target weapons do no damage to swarm at all, unarmed stomps and thrashing deal half, and area attacks do normal damage. So that will hit with one bonus dice of damage. Ooh. So that's, that's 19, yeah? Yeah. Okay. 19 onto its toughness. Their armor still applies. That's two wounds. Ooh. The... Uh, Scorpion Swarm, you blast a huge chunk out of the Scorpion Swarm quite near you, which is going to give various people rather good bonuses this go, or next go. So we progress to the next round. He is hoping that somebody can get, get an A. Do I get uh, well, actually, what do you want to do? You can well, do stuff. You well, just can't attempt. Well, you could attempt to last Defend myself effort. or something? Or? Um... And they're not attacking you directly, and you've already been hit, so defense isn't really going to help you. They're immune to intimidate and taunt, so that's not going to help you either. Okay, is there anything I can do? Um, <laughs> to set myself up to... Yeah, I'll let you do an assist to time. yourself. Yeah. Put, put oh. yourself on fire. <laughs> now, you're not going to get the minus two for being steps away from Heidi yet, because it's in the same combat round, but you are currently stymied on your minus two anyway, so whatever you do do, you're basically you're going to give yourself the opposite. You're going to try and counteract a stymie or something like that. Right. So, so make a dex check. Yep. Yep. Dex. You're at minus two because of the, your stymie. Difficulties are ten. Fuck. It's all good. Okay. Now next go. Torg. Possible setback. Defend and taunt approved. Villains go first. Heroes are stymied, which means you lose your first re-roll, I think. Okay. Nope, everyone on this side becomes stymied. Minus two all tests until the end of their next turn. Ooh, so can you're I... now very stymied, unless somebody does something. Can I play temporary reprieve? Dude? What does temporary reprieve do? Uh, well, it says play at any time to avert a catastrophe, including failing a dramatic solution. It doesn't well, we haven't failed, but still. I'll let that be in play. So possible setback essentially means if you fail, um, you will have to start again, essentially. So I'm going to say that that is in place. So a failure will simply be a failure. You're essentially counteracting the possible setback, which d does act well because it's now a possible setback. You can try any attempt. So you can do A, B, C, and D this round. So it, you've turned that card into a... A, B, C, D one. Well done. Nice. So the villains are going first. So Gaz, you take swarm damage. Oh. Six. Bye -bye. That's an 11 damage to your toughness of seven. That's two yeah. shock. Two. Oh, okay. Need to get five or more to get wounds. they can attempt to make up as well which they will do and the scorpions are now at step a a step ahead of the kid and one step behind the rest of have i got away from the scorpions then they've run away from me no they are still essentially the swarm fills the corridor behind it uh can i, can I play opponent fails to prevent that Ah, oh, you can do if you wish to. Well, would you like me to? It's up to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking for the kid. Do you... Presumably, it would be if if I succeed and get get past this, then it would be helpful for me that they're it not would the same be, yeah. stuff as I mean, me. It's going to be I helpful guess. anyway, because even if you don't yeah. succeed, you've still got one less to get away from them. So yeah, if that's yeah, okay, I'll play it. Opponent fails. Okay, so the swarm attempt, but again, can't make up. It looks like the kids they're, they're swarming around the kid basically, rather than concentrating on getting ahead of the rest of you. Okay, heroes goes. You are stymied. The kid, you are very stymied. So you've either got everyone else has got a minus two to whatever they're doing. Or the kid has a minus four to his next attempt to do anything. 
running. Because I'm I'm rolling so well. Uh, that's not worth it. Oh, maybe it's worth it. Action gives you a, um, a plus three. Plus three. So that would uh, put your minus eight down to a minus five to your dexterity. Plus a minus two. It's a minus seven. So unless you've got a dex of 17, you're failing. I, for, I forget I won't use the action. I'll just stick it with that. Oh, uh, I feel. Okay. Okay, so Java doesn't advance from B. Kelsey, what are you doing? Okay, we're going to Lion. Oh, Lion's running. Go ahead, make your running rolls. You're at a minus two, but it doesn't seem to make any difference because you're getting a 20. 37 gives you a bonus number of 10, 11. That puts it down to a nine because of your minus two for being stymied. Not that it made you any issues. You surge onwards, getting out of the main brightness of the light, and um, you've got this is like a maze of corridors, and you just you take an opportunity and you go right heading onwards. You dive down the left hand corridor. Kelsey, what are you doing? I think he said sorry, AFK. I think it was apologizing for being AFK before. Oh, I don't know if he's AFK now. Maybe he's AFK now. Well, assume he is. What's Heidi doing? Ah, uh, running, I guess. So, oh. luckily, that's just a mishap. You don't disconnect because you are of this environment. Ooh, I'm going to play my second shot. Okay, that is the only thing that can get rid of the mishap. Oh, that's so bad. Make sure to discard second chance. Don't forget everyone could have played cards from the last round. Uh, minus two to your deck targets a ten. Uh, right. Oh, I forgot I could copy a card. Seven. Well, I'm at minus four actually, so that is five. That's bad. Okay, so you do not progress. You're still at step B. Java, you failed as well. Um, Kelsey's not back yet. Somebody want to roll? I'm assuming Kelsey's going to try running. Kelsey's back, isn't he? I think he was apologising for still being AFK. Oh, I see. Yeah. Who's our best roller? Roll for him, if you want. I'll roll. Definitely been... I not said our best roller. Uh, I'm going to... Well, he got 20, didn't he, last time? I'm going to... Yeah, yep. I did. So... I'm going to... Channel... You need to get a 7 or more. Okay, channeling kitten power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Luckily, Kelsey is also... Of the Nile Empire. Oops. However, <laughs> that's not. If he comes back, he has to be allowed to re-roll that himself. Maybe. It's maybe a bit not. harsh. <laughs> uh, he, he could spend a, a, a possibility. Oh, Still a mishap. A, you do, you don't a, get rid of po yeah. you don't get rid of mishaps with possibilities, oh. unfortunately. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Kerry. Okay, you don't get your, well luckily you're not getting the possible setback, so he wasn't set back all the way, but hi, um, for some reason Kelsey doesn't advance either. You've, I think the idea is you, you've gotten into a confusing set of corridors. <coughs> Pardon me. Lion darts forward, dives down one. Um, Kelsey dives down another one, um, and it quickly sort of, he comes back out where he was because it's like a switch back and it puts him back in the same place. So no advancement. The kid. You are oh, currently okay. yep. two steps away from the light because you're at zero and the light is at B. So you're A, B away from the light. And you're very stymied. Yep. So you're at minus Did eight currently. Didn't, you know, uh, the, the shooting of the weapon by Heidi do anything? You said it gave a Yeah, well bonus. reminded, I'm going to give you a plus two for that. Oh. And I did two wounds, you can give a plus four, so you're only at a minus four. Minus four, that's all, that's okay. Then. 
I was opposed to a minus eight. Uh, and you, you said you could move more than one step. You can. It's done as a multi-action, so each additional step is going to be a minus two. Uh, so you could attempt roll. A, B, and C and get an additional minus four. <laughs> that would be minus eight. Oh, God. Not got any cards you can play when if, if you're doing this special. I've, I've got no possibilities, but I have got a drama card. <laughs> So I could get a possibility because of that. You also have, uh, I don't suppose you've got the only cosmic cards aren't appropriate versus scorpions. No, those cosmic cards are useless against scorpions. Has anyone got any cosmic cards they haven't played yet that might grant no. uh, yourselves some more possibilities? Or does anyone have a possibility they can give me? Someone's got a Cosm card that does it. I, I know, I, I read it whenever they were giving out the first Cosm cards. I've, I've got one, but it involves... It's parting shot. The, the, run, the thing he's run off, though. Okay, does I'll it, play parting shot. Does, does, any, does anyone have a possibility they can give me? Because I've got a card that'll let you give me possibility. No, okay. I mean, yeah. yeah, I don't think parting shot because they're not trying to get away. Fair enough. Then no, I'm not. Because they may take one immediate action and then escape. So I'm not going to let you waste it because they wouldn't take an immediate action and they wouldn't try to escape because they're not trying to escape. They're trying to get you. Um, law of action, you could play it to immediately get two destiny cards into your action pool. Okay, um, so that would let you get extra cards. Um, temporary reprieve you've already done. Um, round two, somebody does have. Yeah, I've got that, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I don't think that'll help you in this instance. So it's all down to the dice. Or if anyone's got any cards they can play well, into. Does anyone the... have a possibility they can give me? Yeah, you can have one from me. I, I don't have any possibilities to give I me. I don't know if you do. If you don't have any possibilities, obviously you can't give me. But if you do, I can give you the transfer card. Which allows you to transfer a possibility. Well, you can do Once it's in their pool, oh. and played. Oh, sorry, if I oh, had you so won't... Hang on. So basically you choose one to swap. Okay, so it wouldn't go into the hand pool, would it? No, it swaps from hand to hand, from pool to pool. Right, okay. So you still got it in your hand, then? It's in my hand, yeah, because I don't need it. I'll try and get it in your pool next time, that way you can get it. Right, um, minus eight. What do I need to succeed? You're at minus four currently if you're doing one step. What what do I need? Is it a ten? A test it of ten. Versus tens, yeah. So, and it's dexterity. Yeah. What's your dex? Eight. So you so need I'm at least four. a nineteen. You're trying to get two tens because you're doing two parts, aren't you? No, if he's doing two, it'd be an well, additional minus two. So I would need eight, which would be twenty-one. If I did that, it'd be ten. I'd need a thirty. Thirty-one. Shoot. Um. Oh. But then again, they're still here, aren't they? So I'll be one away from them. Let's just try and do one step. Because at least I'll be ahead of the scorpions. Rather than failing completely. Okay. Better than usual. I'll play me drama card as well. Okay. So this is going to be at least a 10. 23. The bonus number of eight minus four gives you a four. Four onto your decks of eight gives you a twelve. Twelve. That's enough. The kid manages to run. Scorpion's nipping at his feet and the backs of his legs. He manages to run forward, and you've you can you can see the light coming from the corridor ahead of you, and you can suddenly feel the weight of the scorpions on you as you chart. You run forward, literally. These things like dropping off your arms and legs as you go. Well done. Have a possibility. Ooh. Yay! This is called a possibility of pity. 
Yes, I don't care. I'm not through yet. Oh, God. Complication. They're all coming up now. Right, villains go first. You guys are inspired, which means you recover two shock. I don't have any shock. Yeah, you think that as well. Yeah, but the kid does. What's the On, complication? Mean? I will tell you. It means something difficult stops you from doing things. And again, I think you can attempt anything this round. I'll just double check it. A complication makes the job more challenging. Perhaps a tool breaks, the ride gets bumpy, or the storm night sweat loosens his grip on whatever delicate mechanism is manipulating. Failure subtracts one from all further tests in the task. Whoa. So essentially, if you fail this round, everything beyond this point is going to get harder. So you're all roughly in the same area. So you're in this mess of spaghetti corridors that's making things difficult for you if you fail on this round you've really lost your bearings and you're going to lose sight of the others or lose track of where they are but you can do anything on the dilemma so yes the villains are going first though uh, the villains can actually attempt to make up space as well so the scorpions are going to attempt to get to step i and they do scorpions are now once again nipping at the kids heels as a, sur a surge of the creatures just again brings them back essentially if you don't move forward this round you'll be within the swarm again what are you guys doing remember complication running are you all running not doing anything else probably advisable you're no longer stymied yeah. Running. Running glorious. Yeah. Um, Who just rolled a three? Nothing yeah, came somebody up. rolled no, a three. No, fuck. <laughs> Keep getting on. Hiding I... mishap. <laughs> well, I... you can't do anything about the mishap. I got 14. Yes! Finally. Oh, it's roll it again. That's a 31 for the kid. Um, Heidi failed. Java failed. So Java succeeded. Sorry. Uh, Cam Camille failed. The lion failed. So Heidi and Lion, you both remain at your current steps, which are B and C respectively. But your difficulties have gone up. You've you've been running, and it's just it's getting very disorienting in the dark. You're not near where the light is. It's just getting really difficult to tell where you are. Um, Gaz got what did the kid get? Your kid got loads. I didn't he? got yeah, eighteen, I think, in total. Okay. Java got a 14, so she manages to advance to step C. It's quite strange, guys. The kid, you see the light getting brighter, brighter, brighter. You see it off in the distance, and then it disappears down a side corridor. And <laughs> um, Kelsey hasn't rolled yet. Did anyone fail? Sorry. Oh, yeah. Who failed? Because I've got uh, a support card. I could Camille help. failed, and Heidi failed. Oh. Um... Heidi failed. You can't do anything about her. Okay. Um, that one is a failure. Real? I'm just I'm just trying to work it out because he got a nine. He was one step ahead of Java, so he was getting an additional minus two from the lack of light. So he actually got a seven, not a nine. So plus three, give a ten. Uh, plus three will enable the lion to succeed rather than fail. That'd be better, wouldn't it? Because you won't get a it negative would be. next time. Go on, then. I'll do support on you. Okay. So, get... so you've succeeded. Okay, Skellen succeeds, so he's no longer at the plus one. Skell, that means you've only got D left to do. Okay. Which is good because we're stopping soon anyway. I've only got D left to do as well, it's not right. So uh, no, you've out. just got to C. Oh. I'm only on B. Oh, do I get a card? Does it pass? Uh, everybody gets a card. Ooh, I should get a card. Well, you, well, actually, for the successes, you get a card. So, um, do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. so the only one that doesn't get a card is Heidi. So Java gets an action card. Uh, Lion gets an adrenaline card. And the kid 
gets a glory card. Yeah, like I'm going to roll over 60. And I'm going to roll for Kelsey. One of you guys can roll for Kelsey. I'm on it, I'm on it. Oh, you didn't roll a one, though. You rolled two ones. <laughs> I did. <laughs> two ones, yeah. Okay, so Kelsey advances to step C as well. Uh, they already did that, they already did that, and they already did that, moving swiftly on. Using the right deck. Not like this. Come on, we need B, C, and D still. Well, there's B and C. Oh, that'll do. B and C, we can get... Villains are C. set back. Yes. So the Scorpions go back a step. Scorpions are now back at step zero. The rest of you are at Bs, Cs, and D. You can't do D this round, but you can attempt a large dish effort, which gives you a minus two for each additional attempt. So, Skellen, you might as well attempt last ditch effort just to do the last one. Okay. Am I on C trying to get the D and I can't do D because the card's not here? Or am I on C? And You're on C, C to do C. Oh, okay. I was getting confused. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't done you haven't done C in order to get to D yet. You spending a possibility, Scallon? Uh, yep. Oh, there's going to be some flows of possibilities down there. That's like 22 for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's no better than it was. Minus one. What happened? Eight, you know? What happened the setback? Did they miss their oh, turn? Uh, essentially, they've they've gone back to step zero. Oh. I have to spend another one, though, can't I? Uh, you don't need to. you got 15. Don't forget, it counts as a 10. Minimum. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that gives you a bonus number of two on your decks of eight. Nine. Nine so, gives you an 11, 11 so yeah. you complete step D, Yay. and you basically, you, you burst out into a room. There's lots of ent exits and entrances into this room, um, but you get into a room with some stairs, which you quickly go up. This area is well lit by torches with rough pillars circling it. Um, it's a spacious antechamber with high vaulted ceiling. And it hasn't spotted you yet, but in the centre of the chamber, a huge shape shifts. It's the giant scorpion of the murals from below. Built into a brace atop its head is a golden scroll case. And with Skellen having escaped into, out of the uh, frying pan into the fire, um, with you guys at the various positions, we'll leave it there for this week. Cool. Okay. Nice one. Thank you for Good running job. that. Do we to finish this round? Uh, we can do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone well, then do it's that. not a new round. Shot. Sure. Yeah. Well, but Skellen can go because he was a yeah. tidy guy. So, be about so, another 10 minutes, then you can cut the stream off. All right. I'll go and, yeah. So, anybody that needs to complete step C can attempt to do so. Um, Java can this? fail in her attempt with a minus two. Probably. Oh, I need to do B. I'm, I'm going to use my. Uh, uh, that's my, it is. Who's at B with me? Isn't somebody with me at B? Heidi is the only person at B with you. Um, okay. Badger, Heidi's difficulty is now eleven. Uh, okay. Does anyone want uh, adrenaline? Plus three days. Right. Might help somebody. Uh, Might help Heidi with that six. Yeah, I'm spending possibility regardless. Okay. That's a 21. Is, I know that's a. Yeah, loads of people spending possibilities. Right, so Java's now on an 18. Um, Why is that 18? Because um, it's a minimum of a 10 on the second roll. Uh, Heidi is on an 18 as well. Yeah, I'm on 13. Plus five. Okay, so the kid manages to get to step C. Java manages to complete C, and she's now on D. I think Kelsey just needed to get over a seven. Kelsey completes C and is now on D. Have we decided who the adrenaline car has been played on yet? Because 
I'm going to be mean and say it has to be played because the kid was one step behind Java, so got an additional minus two because of the darkness. So oh, actually, actually would have failed on an eight if he doesn't get the adrenaline card. Ooh. Okay, I'll give it to him. Okay. Thank you. And what was Heidi's total in the end? Um, wait, so it's 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 a five onto your decks. I think you succeeded. Right, so um, that's fourteen, but up my two, so twelve. 12. When your difficulties yeah, are eleven, you succeed. Yeah. Okay, so we end the episode with the group split. Um, Java and Kelsey um, almost out of the maze. Um, the sound of the scorpion swarm significantly far behind you. Um, Heidi and the kid running next to each other. Um, the crackling electrical light from Heidi's gun making it just a little easier to see stuff. But you can still see the light ahead um, from uh, Jabba's erratically held torch. And uh, the camera pans past those up the chamber and goes across the back of Lion Camille's shoulder and then pans down to the giant scorpion in the center of the chamber. And when we say giant, it is very big indeed. And we'll bring this up next week with the end of this bit and scene three. So I think you will finish this next week, guys. Yay. Cool. Scene three, Escape from Giza. You are in under Caffrey's shadow. Moment. Cool. Yay. And good night to all. Well done, everybody. Yeah. Surprised I'm still alive. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm, nice. I'm surprised I'm still alive. I choke on very early. You killed me. <laughs> Cheers very much. Good night. Good night. Uh, where's X? There we go. I get to use my gun. Cool. Are we done? Yeah, we're all done. We all left. <laughs> Everyone left. It's just me here now. All right. Night, night, y'all. Thank no. you very much for running. There's only me here, so okay. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>